where is LeBron on the Diddy thing? Because if you're telling me that you use your, your platform to speak out when there are black victims, there sure as hell seems to be a lot of them when it comes to Diddy. Well, it looks like he's having a really good time. It looks, it looks like he's had a lot of time with Diddy. They've been friends for years. They're always hugging, dapping up, bad boys for life, right? And so where is LeBron James, who has elected himself the mayor of speaking out when nobody cares to hear his opinion, speaking out to emote to black Americans, to make black Americans emotional in order to make them feel justified in their behavior when they riot and they loot? Because that's what he's doing. He's in his mansion. He's tweeting. You see, we can't even step outside in Beverly Hill. We can't even. And then the black youth are seeing this. They're going, that's my king. And they take to the streets and they get themselves in trouble. I had no idea about any of that terrible stuff going on. It's crucial to separate my presence at a party from any illegal activities that might have been occurring. You know I stand against exploitation and violence, so let's make that clear, okay? ...is facing some pretty eyebrow-raising accusations lately. I'm talking about everything from claims of sabotaging other black female artists to allegations of her dabbling in witchcraft. And guess what? These accusations aren't just popping up out of nowhere. They're coming from people who were once in Beyonce's circle. Has LeBron James offered to cut a check? Has LeBron James simply made a statement that this is wrong? Has LeBron James maybe just said, hey, I was at those parties, but I didn't realize that this was taking place? Or, hear me out, is it plausible that the reason that LeBron James is opting to be so quiet is because when he read that lawsuit and realized that Diddy had cameras everywhere? What you watching, little bro? Caught you in 20K HDR 1200 FPS Super Nintendo iOS 49 Blu ray ultraviolet radiation 1080p PlayStation 5. Unbeknownst to his party goers at these freak offs, is it plausible that he's got LeBron James doing something that he wouldn't want made public? Is it plausible that Yeg was right and the feds were using him to keep people in control by filming them? when they're high, when they're drunk, when they're doing something that they wouldn't want people to know that they were doing behind closed doors. Maybe it's just cheating on a spouse, who knows? Is it plausible that he's collected something about LeBron James that he is fearful maybe made public? I don't know, I'm just asking questions. I'm just asking for the king to use his platform to speak to us peasants. And that's all I'm saying about that. Is that going to be a new thing? Are you going to try to be early? Yes, I'm trying to be early. Are you going to be early for my party? Yes, I am. No. No. It, you know I have to arrive fashionably late. All right. Not too late, though. Not too late? Not too late, please. What time would you like me there? Um, I'll tell you later. Okay. But okay. not too late. Because, because you know, once you get there, the party really starts. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I promise you I'm not going to let you down on this big one. All right, for good. Real. Good. Your shoes, your feet are going to have blisters. Um, You're going to be dancing so hard. I, I can't wait. Um... <laughs> <laughs> what time would your party start, let's say? Like 9.30. Really? That early? Yeah. I could make that. Yeah. <laughs> but I think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, no, it, it'd go from like 9.30 to like maybe 3 o'clock, 2, 3 o'clock. And then, you know, we have the top two floors of the hotel. Mm-hmm. You know? And then it will carry on there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it, mm -hmm. No, I mean um, the, the after party. Mm -hmm. No, I know about them. Um, <laughs> I'll listen to the music. Um, <laughs> I've heard that song after party. Um, <laughs> Ellen, were you surprised by the allegations <laughs> about P. Diddy? Did that surprise you about P. Diddy? Ellen, He's been on your show many times. Have 784 male shaped toys. Do you have any idea what that looks like? Well, I'm going to show you because that's apparently how many of those they pulled out of the raid, no pun intended, um, on Diddy's house when they also found the thousand bottles of lubricant and baby oil. Now man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Cassie, I will advocate for you.
Because, see, I know something that a lot of people don't know. I know that you and Kim Porter had a sit down right before she left us. Hey, what's up, King Son? Man, you doing it, man. You deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. Proud of you. I love you. Yeah. And yet nobody said, <gasps> but did he get arrested finally and, and, and get the book ready to be thrown at his very, very, very dancing feet? They're going to be his feet with that law book. You know why Puff's party are so cool, man? Because you can't get into the party. It doesn't matter what the fuck's going on in the party. Nothing cool is going on in the party. It's a party. But you can't, for some fucking reason, at his party, you can't get into his party. So now what do you want to do? Get into that man's party and see what the fuck all the hubbub's about. So right now I have a do not fucking enter sign on Machine Gun Kelly, man. Breaking news. No one has expected Megan Fox to be included in Diddy's list of celebrities that is shared with the public. Well, if you don't know this, Megan Fox has shocked everyone by wiping her Instagram and X accounts clean, fueling rumors that it's all linked to the recent arrest of Sean Diddy Combs. As you know, Diddy is facing explosive charges of sex trafficking and racketeering, with allegations dating all the way back to 2008. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Megan Fox isn't the first celebrity to pull this move. Usher and PNK have done the same, deleting their posts just as the news of Diddy's arrest hit. But what's the connection? Well, Megan has been seen in close circles with Diddy at various events, sparking questions about whether she's distancing herself to avoid being dragged into the scandal. Evie Roan now is wondering whether these celebrities are protecting themselves by attempting to vanish out of this storm, because all them celebrities who had fun hanging out out with Diddy are now feeling the pressure of being dragged in this mess anytime. He probably got it at Costco. <laughs> Costco hit right back. We don't even sell, baby. We be having a real education in South Africa and I'm going to go village to village personally myself and with a team of people and pull young girls out of villages and huts who would never ever dreamed or had an opportunity for an education because you're a second class citizen if you're a girl in Africa and other countries and give them an opportunity to come to my school and become the leaders of Africa and I'm doing that one brick at a time I'm building the girls academy and I'm building a school. Is this all your idea? Is it the model? Or are you reproducing something that has worked somewhere no, else I'm in starting, the world? It's, it's all yeah. your idea. It's my idea because I believe that education is freedom. Mm -hmm. I believe that education saved my life. And I think that's how I'm going to save. That's my contribution. And, you know, obviously, you know, I have a foundation and we do lots of things. What I try to do is to use whatever I have to educate people. I can't believe you're this serious. I don't know what to say. That's well, tremendous. Yeah. It's, it's tremendous. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, God bless you for doing that. Thank you for being so nice to me. You will definitely be upset. You will definitely be upset. You will be out and done it, motherfucker. I was there. You the man. You Nigga, stop working out, though. Just start, like, get in the gym, though, nigga. You know, so I ain't got to work out, nigga. 
But you know something? My thumbs are so strong with Kevin on that paper. But y'all hold on, tell you. Let me stop. We gotta do this. Go out work. Go out work. I'm like Kennedy. You feel me? And he like Clinton. I was the president for shit. I was on uh, Oprah's show, on the Oprah Winfrey show, doing Change Your Life TV, and then people saw me, and other networks came after me. You see, I had already been an author that had sold over 6 million books, 14 different titles. Yes, and I went on the Oprah Winfrey show, and Miss Winfrey asked me back again and again and again, and eventually I became part of her Change Your Life faculty, and it was all good. I had traveled all over the country. You know why Puff's party are so cool, man? Because you can't get into the f party. It doesn't matter what the f is going on in the party. Nothing cool is going on in the party. It's a party. But you can't, for some fucking reason, at his party, you can't get into his party. So now what do you want to do? Get into that man's party and see what the fuck all the hubbub's about. So right now I have a do not fucking enter sign on Machine Gun Kelly, man. That's, that's what we're calling that it. That belongs to the devil. <laughs> no. Unless you calling that the devil, she ain't nothing but an employee. Oh, oh. A half of which dumb ass bitch. <laughs> so... You know, it, it, it's funny that it's it's crazy you say these Why things. Why don't just... nobody want to accept that bitch bitch? I think she's. She super... went and killed the girl cats. <sighs> <sighs> okay. A girl went to court <clears throat> and charged her with extreme witchcraft. <clears throat> she she was hypnotized. She was drugged. Beyonce came and she was in there eating on her and shit while she was asleep. Oh. No snacking on his bitch. Killing people cats. Mm. And guess what? They wouldn't give her the restraining order. They just told her to stay away from Beyonce and work for somebody else. Guess what? She's having a hard time finding work too. Which is interesting because she's a brilliant musician. And she was trained at the Berkeley, esteemed Berkeley College of Music. Handpicked by my very good friend, Terry Lynn Carrington, Dr. Terry Lynn Carrington, who put together Beyonce's entire female band, which was Matthew Knowles' idea because he couldn't get Beyonce to stop people. I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. Yeah. Jermaine Dupree, king of the if you ask me, baby. You know, it's another pal of yours that you've become friendly, P. Diddy, and uh, there you are with the... Uh, well, yeah. was, was P. Diddy very... Did he ask to be on the photo with you, or yeah. did you, was it the I, other way around? I mean, P. Diddy's a little up his own ass, to be on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> but that was... That was... <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, now, we were at a college football game, the UCLA. <laughs> but he is, you know what I mean? I didn't even want to get in the picture. He barely shook my hand. I was about to just give my left to the chin real quick. <laughs> But uh, uh, this, this is LA, isn't it? You just go around meeting people, so I'm just having fun. But <laughs> PD was on the bottom of the list of people oh, I wanted to meet, especially only, after finally meeting him. Only you could say PD is up his own arse. <laughs> I, 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 I had smoked something that Puff had gave me, and it was like, it, it was as if I, I had partied like three nights straight. It was, like, <laughs> it was the craziest. I, I was just like, I'm about to go to the airport, you know, I need something that will knock me out. I mean, it, it totally did the opposite. It was, I was, I, I did, cra I was doing crazy dance moves to the weirdest music for 20 minutes straight, like out, like while he was on the phone and I was just outside the window looking in while he was looking at me like, man, I just wanted something to go to the airport, you know, just to, to last me so I can knock out on this flight. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have my guy. So he goes down, comes back up with his stuff, and the guy shows Puff, and I was like, no, 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 I'm trying to give him like the, he said the Snoop Doggy Dog is what he said he's trying to give me. So I was like, oh yeah, yeah, for sure, I want, yeah, yeah. What is that? What's up with yeah, that? Where's that? Sounds good. Whatever right. the hell that yeah, is. I'm like, where is that? So, <laughs> long story short, he gra he finally finds it, and he's like, oh, here you go. He's like, now, the, now my guy said take four, like four hits, and like stop, All right? You know, and we didn't, you know, I just kept going. So, yeah, and so like he was like he was like come back up in five minutes. And I mean, when I tell you I came back over five minutes and like had a had a result for him, like you know what I mean? Like if it was, and then he's on the phone running his empire. Yeah, and you're dancing naked outside, <laughs> outside of his, his window. window like... <laughs> 
Before his arrest, disgraced music mogul Sean Diddy Combs was famous for holding his annual 4th of July party in the Hamptons. All of the well-known partygoers wore white, and it wasn't exactly a family-friendly event. Now imagine you're a six-year-old kid and you find yourself a guest there. Allison Hall has more. Can you believe this six-year-old boy was once a guest at Diddy's infamous white party? The disgraced mogul has his arm draped around a young Justin Levtosky back in 1999. Justin is now 31 and tells Inside Edition about taking that photo. He put his arm around me in an uncomfortable way, close to... Um, areas that you shouldn't as a as a grown man. He recalls what he saw at the party. So I remember marijuana um, and topless women. That's the two main things that I remember. I ain't gonna say that. I heard about that though, but I ain't about to say that. What? 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 Did you and Diddy? You and Diddy? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you and Diddy. You and Diddy what? Diddy. No. It, it said he was... It said he was... He was How you knew that? How you, I, 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 now I'm about to Google because I ain't never heard this. It. He said he was Diddy's boy toy. Uh, yeah, what? He's, I was in Jamaica with him. Oh, I see it now. See? <laughs> This is how well, I can't Osiris with him. in Jamaica with his alleged boo Diddy. Can we talk about Diddy new boy toy? Why can't Osiris? Why you did this to Diddy, man? It's messed up, man. I'm just asking my rumors so he can clear it up. That's what the breakfast. Yeah, that, I didn't even you know that. that. that, that, that up. Look, I try to share in life. I think that you learn that in kindergarten, and um, you know, unfortunately, people forget that what they learned in kindergarten a lot of times, and so sharing is a part of it. You know, let let other people utilize your crayons too. It's okay, and so that's kind of how I live my life. You know what I'm saying, like share when it's appropriate um set the example when it's appropriate when it's in, when it's in line with my vision these kind of things are a consequence of those kinds of actions as opposed to it being like something i set out to do or contract it wasn't planned you know like everybody wants to paint themselves as a genius but i don't i don't even know how i got here all i know is i follow my bliss you know what i'm saying i do what i love and here we are you know what i mean one of the biggest music executives currently was just arrested. I'm curious if you have any opinion on his arrest or the alleged action. No, I feel for his children. The rest I can't speak on. I mean, you know, that's what we got court system for, but I feel for his kids. But I feel very, very good because yeah. I knew the size of the lady yeah. game. Uh, right. Yeah. No did it, Pete Paul's now. I'm just saying. I just knew <laughs> it. I just, cause you know, I know they just wait, they wait, they <laughs> waiting on you. We knew the lit. I'm talking about in basketball terms. Don't y'all be going this. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm just the one time I'm saying it for Ocho and I on nightcap. No, did it. We <laughs> knew the lady game cars were too big for the Iowa Hawkeyes. That size, six foot seven Cardosa. Mm -hmm. You had a uh, Watkins. He's want you to, you know, what these rappers, all these singers, all these big rappers, y'all look up to. They always tell you what the good part about, but you, they never tell you what the bad part. That's just, that, and that's crazy, man. Yeah, they got all this money, but get they, they, they're dealing with emo spirits. They're dealing with kids themselves. Kids have like an hour left. So get extra comfortable, kids, because after that, y'all got to go. It's a wrap for y'all, because this thing turns into something that when y'all get older, y'all don't want to come to. Okay? So, you know, let's just start to get our groove on a little bit. Then an hour, we put the kids away. It's all good. All right, DJ, let's hit it. Let's do it. Come on. Okay, now. One thing he said about Diddy was that Diddy wants to party, but you gotta tell him no. Oh, yeah, well, you do gotta tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta tell him no. <laughs> you gotta tell him no. You gotta tell Diddy no. Everybody knows you gotta tell him no because if you don't tell him no, he's gonna put you in a situation where you will have to say yes or no again. <laughs> so just say no. Just say no. <laughs> just, just say no. Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, yeah. that's what's up. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, you deserve it, Daddy. You putting in that work. It's enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look time. beautiful. Yes, you my bad. I like when you like this, Daddy. Yeah, yeah, when you put my bad Daddy, I like when you, oh, when you right scrambling right and here. scraping for no, no, shit. No, 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 no. I, got I no like that. Shit. I'll be practicing. I got yeah. to Look, did you look back me? on where I became. Mm -hmm. Did you miss me though? Mm -hmm. For real, because we, I'm saying, I miss, and it seems like a thing. I miss his birthday with party, Puff, man. Man, I miss but I'm talking about for your birthday. Huh? Why won't you party with me for your birthday, man? 
I, we, we party for my birthday before. You came to my party. And, mm. No, but me and you ain't never really party. This week, Houston-based lawyer Tony you know, Busby says more than 120 people are coming forward with claims Diddy sexually abused them. Our youngest victim at the time of the occurrence is, was nine years old. We have an individual who was 14 years old. We have one who was 15. Did Diddy assault you in any way? And is there anything that you may want to confess tonight before you go in? I keep everything right here. There you go. Or right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you angelic all the time? New footage has emerged showing Diddy and Ellen together at a party, and it's creating a lot of interest. People are keen to understand what their relationship is really like. How did this footage even come to be? And more importantly, what does it reveal about them? Was it just another celebrity gathering, or is there more to it than meets the eye? People are trying to put the pieces together, and the timing is pretty intriguing, or maybe a little unsettling, depending on your perspective. With Diddy already facing some pretty serious controversies, this viral footage has really shifted the focus. People are really interested in this, and seeing Diddy and Ellen together at lots of high-profile events has only made people think more and more. They seem to be laughing and completely at ease with one another. Now fans are left wondering, is there something more to this relationship than meets the eye? One of the most talked about moments was when they were spotted together at a major music awards show. They weren't just standing there, they were fully engaged, laughing, joking and enjoying the performances together. This encounter sparked a lot of speculation, with many wondering if their relationship is just platonic or if there's more to it. Ellen's playful attitude has definitely piqued people's interest in her relationship with Diddy. On her talk show, she calls him cute nicknames like Cuddle MC Snuggle Stuff, even using that term in a birthday shout-out on social media. In the current context, that nickname takes on a whole new significance. Was it just a bit of friendly banter between colleagues, or could it have a deeper significance? Fans are looking back at their past interactions, social media posts and public appearances to try and find out what really connects them. The fact that both Diddy and Ellen have stayed silent about these rumours just makes people think there might be something in them. Sometimes, what isn't said can be just as revealing as what is. The reappearance of this footage has only served to heighten curiosity, prompting many to ponder whether Ellen's connections to Diddy's world extend beyond the realm of friendship. As things stand, and Diddy faces some pretty serious legal challenges, the conversation about their relationship has become even more intense. Could Ellen know about the more controversial parts of Diddy's parties, or was she just enjoying the glamorous celebrity lifestyle without really understanding what was going on? Fans are really interested to see what Diddy or Ellen say about it. Until they choose to address the growing speculation, the rumours are likely to persist, fueling even more intrigue and discussion.